In Christ, the hopeless find hope. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Bill Crowder. In 1966, U.S. Senator Robert Kennedy made an influential visit to South Africa. There, he offered words of hope to opponents of apartheid in his famous Ripple of Hope speech at the University of Cape Town. In his speech, he declared, Each time a man stands up for an ideal, or acts to improve the lot of others, or strikes out against injustice, he sends forth a tiny ripple of hope, and crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring, those ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. At times in this world hope seems scarce, yet there is an ultimate hope readily available for the follower of Christ. Peter wrote, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy He has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Through the certainty of Christ's resurrection, the child of God has a hope that is more than a ripple. It is an overwhelming current of confidence in the faithfulness of the one who conquered death for us. Jesus, in his victory over death, our greatest enemy, can infuse hope into the most hopeless of situations. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3-9. through 9. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who, through faith, are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen Him, you love Him, and even though you do not see Him now, you believe in Him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy for you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. That was today's scripture reading from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3-9. through 9. As we pray today, let's remember the words of Edward Mote. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Thank you for your Son, Jesus, Father. It's in your name we pray today. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.